Uh, you got a big weekend coming up, right, with Spider-Man uh, at the box office. You concerned at all that this latest surge is going to have an impact? Not, David. I mean, last night um, where it opened in uh, the U.S., it did $50 million overall, and IMAX did $5.1 million. And, I mean, the projections are for north of $150 million in the U.S. and north of $150 million internationally. I mean, those aren't just pandemic records. Those are non-pandemic, all-time records. Our $5.1 million was the best, uh, third best opening we've had in the history of IMAX. So I think, you know, people talk about the intersection, as you said, David, but if, if you look at the numbers, they're, they're extraordinarily good um, over the last couple of months, at least for IMAX. Yeah. You know, I wonder, is it a generational, a demographic kind of thing? I mean, what was it a week ago or so? West Side Story did not have a good opening weekend, despite uh, great critical reviews and it being a Spielberg movie. But uh, you'd clearly imagine it would appeal to people closer to my age group than some of the people who might be going to Spider-Man. Is that what this is about? I don't think so, David. I think you looked at the tracking on West Side Story and, you know, it's a great movie, great director, but it's, you know, it's it's dated IP and, you know, Stephen doesn't have the same audience among younger people that he had years ago. I think it just didn't resonate into the heights, didn't resonate with audiences and Evan Hansen didn't resonate with audiences. I know people are trying to tie everything to COVID, but I don't think it had anything to do with that. It had to do with the movie hitting the sweet spot of the audience. Or not people not liking musicals, judging from what you, the three you just put together. That, I mean, that's a really good point, except for uh, the Queen one, Bohemian Rhapsody. Musicals in general are a tough sell. Yeah. All right. So what are your expectations as we head into next year with a great deal of uncertainty around this uh, latest COVID variant that is spreading quickly? Um, in business as usual, back to the big box office that you're seeing here with uh, Spider-Man potentially? So there's a very interesting nuance, David, which is um, next year's sl Slate, which is fantastic as, you know, Jurassic World, Top Gun, Mission Impossible, Black Panther, Thor, Avatar. Most of that Slate doesn't kick in until around March or April. And I listened faithfully to the, your Dr. Scott Gottlieb who said he expects this to be a fairly short-term burnout. So in January and February, there really aren't blockbuster films out. Um, the big thing for IMAX is in China, it's Chinese New Year. So I think if this thing really does run a short course and you know we're, we're back to normal in um, February or March, it's not really going to have much of an impact on us and on the movie business. Hey, Richard, even as you're talking, uh, the rap has a piece on why West Side didn't work. And they, they say exactly what you said. Musicals in the theater, they argue, are over. But they also argue that older people stayed home in part because of health concerns. And I wonder if you think the business is done changing COVID protocols, if, if what you have in place now is what you'll always have in place, or is there more to do? So, um, Carl, I think it's baloney about, you know, the older people. I just think when a movie doesn't work, everybody tries to find excuses but, you know, movie sometimes doesn't work and you blame it on all kinds of things. You know, for, for the near term future, I think they will ask to see Vax cards in some way. You know, when it comes up higher levels, you know, people wear, will wear masks. But again, you know, I have to remind you, and I think I was on around a month ago, October was our best October in our history by 50 percent. September was consistent with the best year ever. And right now, if we look at Q4, we're tracking to levels very similar to 18 and 19. So I know it's a really good narrative. People aren't safe going to theaters, but at least in the case of IMAX, the numbers don't support that. Mm -hmm.